Good morning and welcome to this gorgeous new day. We are so happy to have you with us for this morning's moment through the Coral Gables Congregational United Church of Christ. We are standing outside the church in these beautiful gardens, which our Garden Warriors group tends to so lovingly and so well. And last week I mentioned to you that there was a bird's nest in one of our trees. Well, over this past week, we've discovered several bird's nests that are in these trees. And I'm not sure what the birds knew that we didn't know several weeks ago when they put their nest there, but somehow they knew that they would be at peace over these next couple of weeks while their birds hatch. And so let us be together in the beauty of this day as we hear this lovely song by Anthony Cabrera. For the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise for the beauty of the hour of the day and of the night hill and vale and tree and flower sun and moon and stars of light Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the joy of human love, brother, sister, parent, child, friends on earth and friends above, for all gentle thoughts and mild. Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. Our Gospel lesson this morning comes from the book of Matthew. If you decide for God, living a life of God worship, it follows that you don't fuss about what's on the table at mealtimes or whether the clothes in your closet are in fashion. There is far more to your life than the food you put in your stomach, more to your outer appearance than the clothes you hang on your body. Look at the birds, free and unfettered, not tied down to a job description, careless in the care of God. And you count far more to God than birds. Has anyone by fussing in front of the mirror ever gotten taller by so much as an inch? All this time and money wasted on fashion. Do you think it really makes that much difference? Instead of looking at fashion, walk out into the fields and look at the wildflowers. They never primp or shop, but have you ever seen such color or design like that? The 10 best dressed humans in the country look shabby alongside them. And if God gives such attention to the appearance of wildflowers, most of which are never even seen, don't you think God will attend to you? Take pride in you. Do the best for you? What I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax, to not be so preoccupied with getting so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way God works fuss over these things. But you know both God and how God works. Steep your life into God reality, God initiative, God provisions. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. Friends, as you take on this new day, take care of yourself, take care of each other. And I send you off with these words. May this be a day of hope, of expectation, 
of relishing each moment as a gift from God. May this be a day of freedom, of loosening the chains that surround you and hold you back from being all that you were created to be. May this be for you a day of peace, a day of wholeness, of knowing that your life is indeed in the very hands of the God who created you. May this be a day of joy, of blessing, of living in the holy realm as a beloved child of God. May it indeed be so. Amen.